Hi guys, it's James here, and today I'm going to be doing something slightly different. Uh, I've had some friends inquire recently about the Kinguin random skin packages. Um, see, you know, they've asked, are they worth getting? Well, I'm not quite sure, but I am going to find out. Um, my guess is, uh, after reading quite a few reviews, there's been quite a few negative reviews of people getting under the value they paid, etc. But obviously, they're random, well random I would say in air quotes um, so the people who are satisfied might not be reviewing so I decided to have a look for myself so what am I going to be buying I'm going to be buying two of the 10 random skin packages and one hot random skin I'm trying to buy two of these packages um, so that I can see you know I can account for some variants I mean obviously you want to be buying like 30 to see you know if there's any variance in them but you know I, I feel like I'll get a better indication of the value of them if I get multiples uh, and then the hot random skin underneath here I'm only buying one of those um, quite expensive so and there's less variation as it's a single item so in the 10 random skins what can you get doesn't really say much um, it says various weapon skins, keys, cases, stickers, music kits. Literally could be anything. They've got pictures of knives on here. We're not going to get a knife from it, let's be honest. Why would they do that? They're not going to. They've got to make money from this after all. Um, and the hot random skin. This this might be a little more interesting. You've got like Vulcan and a couple of knives. You've got M9 Bay, um, Boreal, Forest, uh, Boreal Forest there. And you've got huntsman crimson web i believe i i don't see us getting any of these like aquamarine revenge i think that is factory new looks factory new glock water elemental statue i genuinely think you're not going to get anything like that at all from one of these i'm anticipating something like a red line maybe field tested red line or a water elemental but non-stat track something that isn't actually really worth that much but obviously, I mean, given the benefit of the doubt for now, I don't know what it's like. Uh, I guess we'll have to wait and see. I'm going to put all the stuff in my basket and I'll be back to you in a second and show how much I've paid after tax, etc. Note here it says delivery time is 1 to 24 hours. Don't really like the thought of having to wait 24 hours. But obviously they're probably just going to say that to, uh, to cover their backs. So see you guys in a second. So the order has all gone through now and I'll pop up some final prices here including tax in pounds, dollars and euros so everyone knows what I'm talking about. Uh, those are the prices we're going to be comparing against the value of what we actually receive. So basically it's now just a waiting game uh, to see when we get our skins. Hopefully it will be later on this evening um, but potentially could be as late as tomorrow. Uh, depending on how quickly I get them. But yeah, see you guys in a little bit. Uh, it's now the following day. It's been over 24 hours. It's about 3 o'clock-ish now, and I purchased the item. Well, I got the confirmation for the items at like quarter to 12 yesterday. Uh, fantastic. Um, yeah, I've gotten nothing. No incoming offers, these are just some coin flips I did. The last thing was at 10.24 yesterday, so before I purchased the items. So I guess it is time to get on to their live support and uh, see how good that is. Fantastic. So far, King Gwyn, you're doing terribly. Right, so I opened a live chat ticket, um, spoke to someone after only waiting like five minutes, and straight away after speaking to them, I got my offer, they said that it was pending, and I said, oh, it should have all gone through now. So, although I appreciate the quick customer service, it seems extremely dodgy that it took me making a live chat to receive my items. I, I have a feeling I've heard other reports of people not getting their items at all for like three days until they contacted them. It seems like they don't really care and they might be trying to get away with not sending out people's items um, until they make a fuss but obviously you know that's speculation I can't say anything for certain um, so here are our three offers um, this one which is I think is our one hot random skin yeah an elite build 
Star Trek Minware worth less than four dollars. Uh, I've got the prices written down here. What we paid for them. The hot random skin paid nine dollars sixteen for. That, that that's pretty insane. Uh, it, let's talk about it like this. Um, the way that trading and selling weapons in CS:GO uh, works is that if you're selling for real money, you're not going to get anywhere near the market price. This is the market price. This 381. This is the average market price. Um, and so you're looking, if you're selling for real money, for about 8% of the market price, if you're lucky. And that's if it's a skin that people want. Sometimes you'll have to sell for like 70% under market price, 60% if no one's willing to buy it. Uh, so what these guys are doing here is selling it for $9.16. Packaging it as a random skin. And actually making a profit on selling it for real money. That's actually pretty insane. Um, I'm I'm not actually happy about that. I know that it's random, uh, but a third of the value of what I paid is pretty much extortion. I, yeah, obviously it is random, and they make no promises as to what they're worth. But that still seems like a significant underpayment. It's like throwing six dollars down the drain. Uh, let's move on to the second one, which is the first out of all of the. Uh, out of the two uh, 10 random skins. Now this looks far more promising. The 10 random skins we paid $7.83. Uh, this actually hasn't included the oh, this hasn't included the worm god. Uh, it doesn't say what it is. If it is minware I think that's like a dollar um, or so and the silver I don't know the prices for that either off the top of my head but even even so um, $8.29 that's you know, that's without these two, so we've definitely made a profit on this one. That's good. That's all right. That's what I'd be sort of expecting, actually. Because um, if we're saying we're giving them 783, and obviously some of that is tax, so the actual value that they're getting is significantly less. Um, yeah, that that seems like a really good little um, selection of skins for flipping or betting, etc. And this is our second one, all similarly priced again, all about a dollar. 10 skins that's that's actually nice as well so ten dollars and this was our discounted one um paid only five dollars 88 for this that's good uh, i'm quite impressed with that so overall um let's have a look even though we are up like four dollars on that one and probably if they're worth like a dollar each um three dollars four dollars seven seven dollars we are up overall, but if I had just bought this, I would have felt extremely ripped off. Um, it almost seems like a mistake having that in like such an expensive package. I might inquire on live chat about that because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not happy really with how much I paid for that. Obviously, it's random, you know. And if they say, "Well, it was random. You took a chance," yeah, you know, that's fair enough. But I'm going to see what they say about it, if that's actually on their hot random skins, because that's nothing like what they show. Uh, so yeah, I will be back in a second with some more information. Well, uh, that was very interesting. Uh, I just got off the chat with a representative um, from the website and explained that I was sceptical about the fact that I received a $3.81 item after paying like $9 or so. Um, and I asked politely uh, if there was any chance of getting a re-roll on it because uh, I questioned whether I could get higher ticket items or if they were just ripping people off. And I got a new offer through uh, for a Hyper Beast. Uh, I think it's Battle Scarred. I think I saw it Battle Scarred. Uh, let's have a look and respond to offer. I should say, yeah. There we go. Uh, a Battle Scarred Hyper Beast. So six pounds 86 which in dollars or oh, well 676 so uh, 676 in dollars is nine dollars 56 and so including tax I only paid 916 um, yeah so that's a far more impressive offer now <laughs> 
<laughs> is me being skeptical again. Um, did they only give me a good offer because I complained? <clears throat> or if I had been the next person to be rolled, would I have gotten this item anyway? <clears throat> Obviously, no one can really say either way. Uh, however, from all of these offers, the 10 random skins here, uh, 10 random skins here, <clears throat> made a profit on both of those. And also made a slight profit on this. So, it's hard to say. I, I, I want to... I'll, I'll do a proper conclusion in a second. So, we're now in game and it's time to do a conclusion. Here is the Hyper Beast uh, that I got from the Hot Random Skin. Even though it's Battle Scarred, it's got a pretty decent float and looks quite nice, so I'm fairly happy with that. And these are all the items after that from the 10 random skin um, packages. So on the screen now, I'm going to put the figures. Uh, I profited on both of the 10 random skin packages. I was quite impressed with what I got from those. And obviously, if you watched the video earlier, um, or if you just skipped to now, you wouldn't know that I got a $3 skin offered to me for the hot random skin originally. And it was worth over $9. Um, and then I had to make a fuss on live chat to finally get a re-roll uh, for that. So, it's very difficult. Um, there was a massive delay in getting my items originally. Uh, 26 hours and I only got them after I, I submitted a ticket basically, or I used the live chat. However, once I was on the live chat, they sorted me out quickly uh, both times. <sighs> It's hard. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, where 10 is I'd recommend using Kingwin random skins, and 1 is no, never go there, ever, I'd give them a 5. I profited, which is great, but I had to make two live chat petitions um, to do so, otherwise I would have not been up. Um, I wouldn't have got items at all, basically, uh, but I am left with items that I am satisfied with at the end of it. So, to sum up, do so at your own risk. You might find that it works out alright, like it did for me. However, more than likely, it's not worth it's not worth the effort. It was it was a real pain, and I don't think I'd go for it again. Um, but if you want to, you you know you're going to be able to contact someone, and they'll probably deal with any inquiries you have. So do so at your own risk. Uh, if you have any requests for me to do similar things like this on different websites, just say in the comments below. If there's anything you thought that I could have done better, put it in the comments below and leave a like um, on the video if you liked it. So thank you very much for watching this guys and I uh, hope to see you next time.